Hey guys, Joey here. So if you're holding on to stocks in the Singapore stock market, alright, and you know, perhaps thinking about you know buying some of these stocks on deep, then you want to definitely watch this video all the way to the end, alright. So this is where I will do a quick recap of the STI, alright, the Singapore stock market, okay, and some of the stocks that we have in our watch list, okay. So last week was quite a bearish week for the market. We have you no know, Donald Trump coming out and saying that you know that he might start to impose more tariffs on um, Chinese goods again, and you know China can potentially re retaliate and also we're talking about looking at news on you know funds pulling out of emerging markets and economic crisis and in, in, in countries like Turkey and Argentina and all that right so it's kind of affecting our market as well right so this is the STI right over here so let's get into it and let me just do a quick recap of what is happening to the STI right now So this is the STI right over here, the Singapore Stock Market Index, all right, and we have broke that 3200 level right just last week and you know this level has been crucial right? i've been talking about this level many many months back and you know this 3002 has actually been holding since like april 2017 right april last year so it's more than a year and finally you know the buyers just couldn't hold it anymore and just you know last week a few days back we kind of broke that 3200 level and you know, on friday we kind of closed at like 3134 right so this is the downside we have seen for the market and we are pretty much you know seeing some support coming back at about the 3100 level for now right so yeah i'll probably say that you know there might be some you know buying pressure coming in people might start to bargain hunt again all right and we might start to rebound from the 3100 all the way back to probably near 3002 but you know just want to be careful because you know as i mentioned all along that you know, there can be some weakness or there can be actually a potential bearish move or bearish market forming all right as long as we stay below that 3200 level right because you know, in terms of the trend indicators right there are some signs of weakness you know right now right below that 3200 level right so all this all this while you know that 3200 level was holding but you know just last week it gave way and you want to be careful if you're holding on to long positions right for some of those blue chips the bank the property counters and all that as well right and we can potentially even see you no know, more selling pressure all right if this 3100 level or the breakdown and that's where we can potentially see a move to that psychological 3000 level for the entire market right so you can see that in 2016 you know the low that we have went to was like about 2007 2008 and even 2006 so that could be the downside move right hopefully right we, we see some consolidation from like 3001 to 3002 for now and you know hopefully we start to see that push back above that 3002 all right and that's where any reversal upwards can potentially happen again right so this is for the sti to take note of the levels that we have right now and you know there could be a potential bearish market forming right especially below 3200 less so you want to definitely look at your stock that you're holding or right? especially for those that are in the downtrend you definitely want to look at it and you know be sure to kind of reduce exposure for some of those long positions so some of those stocks that we have in our watch list you know in terms of the downside wolf you know playing out further as well this counter called capital and right over here all right so it was holding above that three dollars forty cents uh, over the past two weeks but it just couldn't take it you know over the past few days and it broke down and you know right now we might start to see a bit more weakness especially below that three dollar thirty cents level right so kind of close at about three 27 on friday so you just want to be careful because this is where you know we can potentially see more selling pressure more weakness uh coming back in to push it to about 320 and even back to that three dollars level which was the support that we have seen um just about two months back all right so this could be downside move uh, especially if the market were to weaken further and especially if we see more you know negative news coming from the u.s market as well for this capital land even this counter called city dev right city development and we kind of broke that you know, nine dollars uh, psychological level just a few days back as well all right so there could be potentially more you know short term weakness right towards like 850 and you know if the 850 were to break down further probably towards eight dollars and even seven dollars sixty cents so this could be downside move you know especially if you know we start to see more negative news coming out from the market as well right so this is city development so yes if you have found value in this video right in terms of the market outlook and also some of the stocks that we have in our watch list right just go ahead to like and share this video or even comment below right what are your thoughts on the market or some of these counters you know and i'll do my best to come up with videos like this uh, on a regular basis right so go ahead comment below all right like and share this video and uh, thanks so much for watching and i look forward to see you in the next video joey here take care